what is up you guys six max here and welcome to another advanced warfare video and as you guys can probably tell from the title of this video today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorites in the smg category which is the asm1 submachine gun and i want to share with you guys the class setup that i've had the best luck with as well as share some tips about using the gun and stuff like that so starting off you guys let's take a look at the class setup here for the asm1 First four attachments, you guys, we've got the foregrip, which helps with the recoil, which is huge in advanced warfare, in my opinion. The submachine guns tend to have a lot of kick in this game, and this helps a lot. Let's take a look here on the screen at how the ASM-1 works with the foregrip and without the foregrip. As you guys can see here, it's extremely obvious from the spray of the weapon that you get a ton more recoil without the foregrip, so I would definitely recommend going with that on all of your SMG classes, you guys. Next up, we've got advanced rifling. This is another huge attachment to have because I think the SMG in the game don't have near enough range with how quickly people move around with the exo movements and all that kind of stuff one minute you can be in a gunfight and the next second your enemy is way over on a rooftop somewhere and if you don't have that range it can really really hurt you so and then next up you guys we've got extended mags this has been a standard perk for me or for a really long time this will help you pull off those double and those triple kills a lot easier i'm only going with the combat knife for my secondary and down below you guys in wildcard slot one i'm going with primary gunfighter which helps me use that you know third attachment on my gun which i like a lot personally next in wildcard two i'm going with perk two greed which gives me a second perk two and for the last wildcard you guys i'm going with perk three greed which gives me an extra perk in slot three you might ask why am i trying to get all the perks that i can well i don't really think the exo abilities are that important because you can only use them for about 20 seconds so i really want to exchange that for maximizing the perks that i can use and while we're on the topic let's talk about the perks i'm going with in this class so for perk one i'm using lightweight so i can move around faster around the map and get away from everyone who's flying around and all that kind of stuff for perk two i've got gung ho so i can fire while i'm sprinting so i can run and gun more and stuff like that and i'm also going with peripherals and perk two which increases how big your mini map is on your screen which is really really nice you guys if you haven't tried it out you should also it lets you kill enemies without displaying where they died on the radar which is definitely nice as well and lastly for perks in slot three i'm going with scavenger so i can go on those long gun streaks and because of the new movement mechanics you tend to waste a lot of ammo when you play because you miss a lot more because everyone moves so fast so it's good to have that you know that extra ammo is backup and last up in this slot you guys i'm going with toughness so when i get shot i flinch less which will definitely help me stay on target and take them out a little bit easier now like i mentioned before i'm going with no exo abilities on this class just because they only last about 20 seconds and i'd rather have the perks but that's just my personal preference you guys and it's nice to have some grenades in your exo launcher especially for those objective game modes and stuff like that but i don't have any equipped here and because i don't have any points left i'm going with just one score streak on this class you guys which is all personal preference of course the score streak that i'm showing here doesn't really matter it's all personal preference you really can run with anything you want here but i'm giving it kind of like a crazy variation of the uav here and i'll tell you what it is so we've got the uav but then i added a few upgrades i've got extra time so it lasts a little bit longer i've got threat detection which basically gives me a wall hack and highlights the enemies red through walls it's actually really really awesome and last up i put support on there because with my run and gun class here I i'm not sitting back as much so you can definitely die a lot more but this helps me still get my score streaks so there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the class setup that I've had the best luck with with the ASM-1 submachine gun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like down below if you did and definitely subscribe here if you guys are new. Again, my name is Six Max, you guys, and I will talk to you all very soon in my next video.